Hi there. Today I'd like to share with you what I'm calling the Advent Calendar Maths Puzzle. And this is a uh, an Advent Calendar. And what happens with your Advent Calendar is um, you've got 24 of these little windows um, built into the calendar. And um, each one is marked either, you know, one, uh, two, three, and four. And there's one through to 24, and you use it as a countdown um, during December up until Christmas. So Christmas Day is on the 25th. So you've got one through to 24 little windows. Every day you open one up um, as a sort of a countdown to Christmas. And what you do is you open up that window, read the message, and there's a little chocolate in there. It's already been eaten on that one, but uh, you eat the chocolate as, uh, you know, as a way of uh, getting ready um, for Christmas. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great as well, is if uh, this could also be a maths puzzle. So at the moment, the uh, the numbers 1 to 24 are just randomly spread out over this sort of a 6 by 4 grid. Um, but wouldn't it be great if, say for instance, every row, if you added up the, the four numbers um, in that uh, row, wouldn't it be great if, it, if they all, every row, added to the um, the same number? And the same for the columns, if all four columns also added to a um, the, the same number, a different number to the rows and the columns, but wouldn't it be great if that you could sort of create a simple maths puzzle like that. And at the moment, um, I've just done a simple uh, grid there to help you understand what I'm sort of talking about. You can see it goes 24, 21, 18, and three. And 24, 21, 18, and three equals 66. And the next row is 10, 8, 7, and 1, and that only adds to 26. So wouldn't it be good then if you could rearrange these numbers from 1 to 24 across this uh, 4 by 6 grid, which is actually, um, you know, the windows of your advent calendar. Wouldn't it be good if you could rearrange the numbers so that when you uh, got the total of the first row, then um, it would equal the total of the second row, and that would equal the total of the third row, and the same for the fourth and the fifth and the sixth. So the total of each of those six rows was the same number. And also, when you uh, got the total from each of the columns, adding those six numbers together, and those six numbers, and those six numbers, the total down here was, uh, was all the same number. So all the four columns, equaled the uh, the same number and then all of the uh, the six rows also equaled the same number and obviously the the total of the rows is going to be different to the total of the columns because you've just you've only got four numbers across and you've got uh, six numbers down now if you want to um, think about how you might you might solve this puzzle then click on the pause button now otherwise I'm going to go straight into the answer Okay, so the first step then is to pair the numbers from 1 to 24. So there's 24 windows on this uh, advent calendar. Um, so I've got the numbers there. I'm using the numbers from 1 to 24. And I've paired up those numbers um, in this uh, table here. So I've got 1 with 24 as my first pair. Second pair, 2 and 23 third pair 3 and 22 and that goes right down to the final pair which is 12 and 13 and by doing it that way each one of those uh, 12 pairs uh, equals 25 so the sum of each of those pairs equals 25 and the next step then is to group the pairs into four groups so I've just gone there one two three four 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And what we're going to do next is to um, put those numbers into columns. And what we'll do is we'll put the um, all the group 1 numbers together, which is the 1, 24, 5, 20, and 9, and 16. And then we'll put the group 2 numbers together, the group 3, and then the group 4 numbers together. And by doing that then, by doing that then, you can see there that um, 
Group 1 then, we've got 1, 24, 5, 20, 9 and 16 and that all adds to uh, 75. 1, 24, 5, 20 and 9 and 16 and they're all your group 1 numbers. And you do the same for your group num 2 numbers which is 2, 23, 6, 19 and 10 and 15. You can see those 6 numbers are in the group 2 uh, column and now you can see that because you've got three lots of uh, numbers that add to 25 then each of those groups are going to add to 75 and all I've done that's slightly different is I've just rearranged the order of the numbers to make sure that the totals of um, across the rows there for group 1 and 2 equals either 24 or 26 24 or 26 or 24 or 26 so obviously over here I had 2 and 23 and I've just reversed those to give me 23 and 2. Um, so to make sure that when I add across it either adds to 24 and 26. And I've done the same there basically with for group 3. Group 3 is in the order shown here, 3, 22, 7, 18 and 11 and 14. And then when I've got to group 4 I've just reversed those numbers in each of the pairs. So to make sure that my, um, my totals equals to 24 or 26. So you can see there that um, obviously I've got all my uh, four columns now equaling 75 and I've got actually got sort of 12 um, pairs there and they equal 24 or 26 and then and then what I'm going to do is the, the final step you can see there that um, There's my um, group one uh, numbers equaling, or uh, well, the column one numbers equal to 75. And they're the same numbers there equaling to 75. And all I've done then, because uh, that equals the, equals 24, then I've just matched it up with, um, with that uh, second pair that equals 26. So obviously 24 and 26 equals 50 because you wouldn't want to put two 24s together because that'll only equal 48 and then you'd be stuck with a 26 and a 26 which equals 52 because obviously you want to get all those rows to equal the same amount so um, yes I've just uh, shuffled those around a bit so I've matched up a 24 pair with a 26 pair you can see that 1 23 equals 24 22 and 4 equals 26 1 23 22 and 4 equals 50 um, and so you do that and there is one solution for the advent calendar puzzles so obviously with the advent calendar if you have um, the first row 1 23 22 and 4 that equals 50 and the same with all those other five rows they all add to 50 and then all your columns also add to uh, 75 and I've used all the numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, right through to 24. Okay, so to finish off then, um, what I've done is I've copied that solution back into the, uh, the big grid that we started looking at at the beginning of the video. And once again, that shows you that uh, all the rows there equal 50 and all the columns equal 75. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.